How's it going? So, uh, I decided that I was going to be informative to men out there uh, and share some information that a lot of guys just don't want to talk about. Um, I got a vasectomy, and I'm on. I'm still within my 24 hours of recovery, and I just wanted to share, you know, how it feels for me and how the experience was for me, and you know, a couple things I've discovered. Uh, through this recovery that uh, might be helpful to somebody else uh, that got a vasectomy or is thinking about it. Um, let me start with uh, things I did before I even went to get the vasectomy. Um, I set up my bedside table. I made sure I had all the stuff I was going to want near me, like a cell phone or a cup or a knife or um, my, my Tylenol. You know, I made sure all that stuff was going to be around me um, so that I didn't have to go very far because they tell you not to be, you know, too active and they mean it. Um, so with everything set up, you know, got my cup, got my phone, got my firearm, got, you know, a knife and all this other stuff. Um, so after the procedure, I get home. Um, I've pretty much been laying in bed. I got up a little bit. I was probably up for like 20 minutes walked around a little bit, sat down most of that, um, and that's where I actually, you know, really felt where the achy pain was, um, but it didn't get too severe. Uh, and that's another thing, the pain, really not that severe. I had a no scalpel, no stitches vasectomy, bilateral, so both sides, um, and yeah, I can't say it's too very painful. It is uncomfortable. Uh, there is an achy pain, um, but it is just kind of like an ache. It's like uh, if you were to take one of your balls and squeeze it till you just started feeling an ache and then hold it like that for days. Uh, that's what I imagine this is going to be like, uh, you know, for the duration, the two weeks or so. Um, there's there's going to be a light ache. Uh, laying in bed, awesome. Laying flat, you know, sitting not so much, I don't know what it is, maybe the gravity that, that you're pulling on them or something, but sitting was uncomfortable, laying is alright. Uh, they tell you to ice uh, 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, just about, I've been doing maybe 20 to 30 minutes on, and then definitely 30 minutes off, just to make sure there's a decent gap there. Um, I'm not putting it directly on me, you know, I got, uh, I got some sweatpants on, and I just kind of rested on the sweatpants, and it's been adequately chilling, uh, chilling my junk. So, icing, very important. Uh, staying in bed, very important. Don't go lifting your kids and, you know, doing, don't think that just because it doesn't hurt that it's not, you know, needing the rest and relaxation that they tell you. Because, you know, it doesn't hurt enough for you to think like this is going to be debilitating. But by moving around, you could, you know, really hurt yourself. So, lay in bed for a couple days, you know, chill out, ring a bell, have your kids bring you stuff, ice your junk, take your Tylenol, and you should be alright. Um, sleeping has been a little awkward. Uh, for one, I mean, you're laying in bed all day, so not really doing anything to make myself tired. So, when it comes time where I'm like, oh, I should be going to bed now, but I'm just not tired. My brain's still active. I haven't done much with it. My body's still, you know, ready to go because it's been laying here doing nothing all day. Um, so, falling asleep, uh, it's been taking me a while. Um, but that's not terrible. You know, I can live with that. Uh, the other thing is, they, you know, if you, if you sleep on your back, you're fine because you're going to want to, you know, be mostly on your back. But I don't. I sleep on my side, and that's caused a little bit of an issue with, uh, it's hard to get comfortable without, you know, squishing your your junk when you're, you know, because your legs are together. So I highly suggest taking a pillow and putting it, like, right here so that your legs, you know, are spread apart just a little bit so you're not squishing your junkage. Um, I sleep um, kind of like this, you know, I'll be like laying like that, so I'll go ahead and I'll take, I'll put a pillow like here to hold this up, so again, my junkage is not being squished by the bed or my legs, so uh, having a pillow to stick, you know, somewhere, somewhere in there um, will assist you if you 
just can't sleep on your back. And I just can't sleep on my back. So if you're going to have a vasectomy or have had a vasectomy, uh, there's a little bit of information for you uh, from my personal experience and from what I was told from my doctor. Um, pretty much, uh, yeah, it doesn't hurt as much as I was expecting. Uh, there's not as much pain as much as annoying ache. So if you can deal with that and don't mind being out for two, three days and then, you know, you can go back to work. They tell you not to lift anything heavy or whatever. So you get a couple easy days at work. Not bad, right? So yeah, uh, definitely want to set up your space before it gets done so that everything you think you might want to, you know, have near you is near you. And then, you know, trying to sleep, I do suggest the pillow. And keep your ice regimen up because ice in your junk, it's going to make it feel better and it's going to stop the swelling, um, which would then be pulling on the stuff they cut. So, ice and more ice and ice. Oh, yeah. And rest. <laughs>